I'm Alan. In today's video I'm making a drive pin for a Kenwood mixer. The pin's made out of nylon and it connects the drive from the motor to the mixing paddle. So let's go into the workshop to see how we do it. This is a Kenwood Chef. It's around the 1970s when it was made. I've had a look at this, taken it to bits and reassembled it. There was not much wrong with it. Here are a few photos of the inside of the machine. It just needed a good clean on the inside to get most of the cake mix out and then reassemble it. The motor was making a noise, so I did a good clean on the motor, checked the brushes and they were okay, polished the armature up and reassembled it. The main problem I can see now is this on the top. This cover comes off, this is where you add an accessory on here, but this little peg on the top uh, is confusing me. Let's have a closer look. So on the top, this has got a piece of nylon pushed in there, and I don't think that was the original fit in. This pushes down onto this top of this spindle inside, which engages the mixing paddle. So what I want to try and do is make a peg that fits in this part here so that every time you put the top on and lock the top it engages the mixer. So let's go into the workshop and see what we can make. I've had a look in my offcut box and found this piece of nylon which will make a peg that can fit into the plastic cover. So the first thing I need to do is face off the end and turn the diameter down to fit the hole. Just face that off now, I want to come in about 8mm. That's 8 millimetres in length. A belt tensioner in the off coming off the motor was loose, so that's why it was rattling. Now I want to turn this diameter to 6.2526 at the moment it's 8.9 Seven point one nine.
This is strange material. If you take a fine cut, it tends to push away and not cut anything at all until you get to a certain size where it will cut the material away. Six point five. I did take a little more off afterwards because I noticed it was pushing or opening the crack. It should do it. The larger diameter is 10 millimeters, so that'll be okay. Now I've turned it around and I'll machine the other end. Now on this side I want to turn it down to reduce the diameter but leave a small flange. should do it. And there's the finished plastic part. That fits in there okay. Now let's see if it will fit on the mixer. Okay, that's the cover. Here's the peg we've just made. And with the flange on it will stop the peg pushing through so that should now go on top of that just press that down put the lock on at the back and it holds it presses on the inside spindle and engages the motor
There you can see when I turn it on. The mixer turns. If I take this off, turn it on. This part's working. So this cover transfers the power from the attachment to the mixer. OK, that's the Kenwood Chef, still working after 50 years and will probably last another 50 years. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was interesting. And if you liked it, why not subscribe? And we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering. Thank you.